Hey guys, Ed here, Top of the Line Train. Hey, uh, today, um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a uh, spinning sack of the Tribex. Um, I saw somebody on the internet do it, so I figured, hey, that's a good idea because, number one, I have a ton of this stuff. My brother gets it all the time for free, and he has so much of it, he just gives it all away. And I mean, I'm talking about a lot. I've got a Kelty 20 degree bag. Uh, this bag is, I love this bag, it's very warm, it's a down bag, it's very warm, um, served me well, it packs the most, the biggest thing about it, not only it's warm, but it packs up real small, so like you could throw it in a uh, three day pack or something like that, even a one day pack for that matter, and have a good uh, bag to keep you warm, you know? but uh, um, here in Ohio, tomorrow is uh, muzzle loading season, where we go or where I'm going, I have a trailer that I can stay in. This uh, neighbor lets us stay in the trailer uh, in the winter. But uh, there's snow on the ground. It's cold as hell out. I've been waking up here uh, for the past week around 7, 7.30. And as soon as I get to the thermometer, I look at it, it's around 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, that's pretty cold. <laughs> and it's been getting up to around 30, 33 degrees during the day. So uh, it's probably going to be cold as hell, and like I said, there's already snow on the ground. Now I'm going to stay in the trailer for a couple of nights, but maybe like one of the nights I want to go up into the woods and uh, see how long I can take it up there. Now the trailer is cold as hell too. I mean, the only thing that heats it has really just a little bit of insulation, and we use electric heaters in it. But uh, you know, I only have one electric heater, so uh, you know it'll it'll work. But uh, Let's see how this Tybex does, and uh, stay with me, and I'll get back to you. All right, guys, head back to you. Um, top of the line training. I went ahead and got this Tybex cut out, and, uh, uh, you know, it's not a uh, professional job by any means, but it's good enough. The next step of the process is to put the carpet tape around the seams. So I'm going to go ahead open up the carpet tape, get it set up, and I'll come back to you with it. But uh, All right, YouTube, Ed back with you. Um, as you can see here, I've uh, cut this uh, bag down and um, cut the bag down. I've applied the carpet tape. Uh, like I said before, I have this uh, Rhino Grip uh, double-sided carpet tape. And when I opened it up, I was a little skeptical. But uh, I'll tell you what, I don't think it's coming apart, guys. I mean, I guess you could rip it apart. I don't know. But it seems to be like it's going to hold. But we'll see. Um, the next step is to apply some Velcro along the edge here. And I'll do that right now. And I'll get back to you as soon as I get that done. Hey, YouTube. Hey YouTube, Ed here, top of the line training. And what, what I'm going to get ready to do here is put the uh, tile portion of the uh, sticky Velcro down on this. Now, I am a little bit skeptical about this uh, Velcro, uh, but I think it'll work. We'll see. Um, I've had this since, I got this in um, 2004 when I retired from the military, but uh, we'll see how it works. So let me go ahead measure this out real quick and cut it to size and stick it down there. Again, this is not a perfect one. This is te Technically, this is just a trial one. The edges and whatnot are rough. There's a little bit of um, mishap down at the end, but it's sealed. It's sealed all the way. So, now what I did there was I just pulled off what I want to stick on without um, pulling the whole tab off, so with the whole back paper. So I'll do that as I go here. I believe you can see that, okay? And I'll just peel it off like so. Tighten it up a little bit. It's pretty tight. Feels good on there, and I'll get it worked on there. Of course. Now let me trim this little piece of overhang. I don't 
All right. All right. So there, that portion is. Now, let me uh, flip this sucker upside down. Let's see if I can get the uh, other portion. So what I'll do is I'll get that done with you two, and I'll be back to you in a minute. Thanks. Okay, you two. Head back with the top of line training. And there's my bivy sack all rolled up. And just to give you a size comparison, uh, it probably only weighs a, maybe a pound. And I, just for, for, for argument, I'll just say two pounds. But... I still think it's under, I think it's under two pounds, maybe a little bit over, so maybe a pound and a half, let's go with that, and um, there's the size, I mean, I just did it in this fashion for now, um, I could definitely strap that to the top of a pack, bottom of the pack, side of a pack, real easy, especially one of the Everly stock packs, throw it in the uh, side pocket, uh, tie it down to the side, no problem, um, and there it is. I mean, it's a bivy shelter um, for your sleeping bag. And you got the mat. Put the mat down in it. And I'll be testing this out, or at least I plan to. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but uh, we'll see how it goes and uh, t try to test it out. And, again, for the money I have in it, about 8 or 9 bucks, uh, can't beat it. So here's all my gear. Not sort of a, seems like a lot of gear. But really, it's not. It's a four-day trip. Got the electric heater back there for the trailer. Got my fat wood. I'm just taking it for GP. But uh, just got my gear. It seems like a lot of gear, but once I condense it all into the box and stuff like that, um, it's really not uh, that much. Plus, I have my vehicle, my truck that I can, you know, uh, keep most of it in. I'm not going to be taking any most, you know, a lot of this out. Just a few. Maybe the box and a bag, and that's about it. But I'm taking that. Uh, that's a uh, Everly Stock um, J107 Dragonfly. The main reason I'm taking that is I won't even use it unless I kill a deer. And it depends where I kill the deer. But if I kill it back in the back part of the property, um, I plan on quartering it and uh, hauling it out with the Everly Stock. So uh, that's my plan. So anyway, again, bivy, uh, homemade bivy, $8. I figure that you could probably make it for under $100, um, I'm guessing. I don't know how this stuff's going to breathe. Am I going to wake up sweaty? Am I going to wake up wet? Whatever. But we'll see how it works, and I'll let you know. Hi, right, YouTube. Ed here, Top of the Line Training. This has been the Homemade Bivy Sack. Please subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back with you as soon as I can with more videos. Take care. God bless.